Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to sharpen image here in Adobe Express. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Adobe Express, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Sharpening an image here in Adobe Express involves enhancing its clarity by emphasizing details. Although Adobe Express doesn't have a dedicated sharpen tool like Photoshop, you can still improve the sharpness and overall clarity of your image with the simple workarounds. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to click the sign up or the uh, design or project that you're working. All right. If you haven't already, just go to the template section we're in. You can browse thousands of inspiring and amazing designs. But if you want to start from scratch and upload your own content, just click this button. Right, so to sharpen your image, all I'm going to do is click the image that you are working with. I'm going to click on the margin and not show the bleed. All right, I'm going to choose this one right here. All I have to do is go to the adjustments section. We're in, you can go to the sharpen section. You see that? you are bumping the details in clarity. All right, you see that? Now, we're going to create a duplicate page wherein I'm going to go to the media and put in as much as photos as I can so we can bump all of them together and see the difference, all right? So this, um, this one right here, I'm going to choose another image, maybe um, this one, this lady right here. And the last one is gonna be Maybe um, this one. Okay, that being said, all we have to do is simple. We'll select each of each one of them, go to adjustments and select the sharpen. All right. See that? You can also highlight the brightness, the contrast. You can bump it all the way through so you can achieve the effect that you wanted. Sharpen, highlights, brightness, and a little bit of contrast. And of course, the last one. It's up to you. Where do you want to put it? You can put in some saturation, a little bit of warmth if you want it. All right. Shadows, highlights. So you have all these options for you to be able to produce a very sharp image and a quality, highest the quality for them all. Now, once you are sure about this uh, adjustments, you might want to go to the download option. I want you to make sure that you download the best quality for this one, which is going to be PNG, best for images, and PDF print if you plan to print this later. All right? And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.